All right, guys, not any damage out here. Didn't have any big limbs fall or anything. Uh, lots of pine straw on the course, but I'm going to grab the blower now and do the street and uh, do the yard and it'll be done. And thanks for coming back, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, my subscriber numbers have really gone up. Uh, if you do subscribe, I hope you stick around. I hope you really do enjoy this content. Uh, I know I go on some other channels and uh, have a wide variety of interests, like I hope a lot of us do. And so hopefully this is one of your interests. Uh, they're just fun. The noises in the background could be considered ASMR. You know, if you're into that comment, we can make a video that's more geared towards that with lots of clicking and clacking. Um, so I start, uh, I just kind of am not driving this Gladiator well today. Um, I don't know. It's not mine, but it's just part of the fleet. And uh, I just am not doing that well with it for some reason i don't know i couldn't really figure out why it's got some pretty loose suspension i'm used to that little buggy now it's really all uh not a lot of flex but the perfect amount of flex and everything moves exactly how you need it to there's no uh, you know i do have a, a grizzly works little 3d printed um luggage slash um gun case in the back of that jeep right now and that adds i don't know what that thing is i could weigh it and figure it out real quick for you but not while this video is playing well maybe i could so yeah um like i said in the beginning of the video blew off the course and i actually went out and did the whole neighborhood and then did the course right at the end so it's kind of hard to get all the straw out of the the course so I just kind of hand pick it as I go through and you'll notice in a couple of spots it does get caught up in these rigs and I just you know pick it out between between the takes and, and I, I really just try it when I do a camera move just pick out all the straw that I think is gonna affect the trucks and just throw it to the side and then it just stays clean as I go uh, it's not a big deal it's uh, really pretty easy to maintain, and man, the rain washed the rocks. There's no dust on them. They all have a really good amount of grip. So uh, it's funny how sometimes I forget I'm filming, and then other times I forget that I'm not driving through the camera. Like, don't do that. It doesn't help your driving. For me, it doesn't help my driving. Uh, I can get some hood talking to you right there, uh, a little clip up. And, uh, you know, that just happens on some of these magnet mounts. And that one's just not that strong. It's not magnet to magnet. It's magnet to metal. And, uh, yeah, I might change it in the future. I might not. And, uh, yeah, I just love that little Maz chassis uh, cliffhanger body. You know, it's the, it's the Maz body. Gonna be... Maz is coming out with a new sticker set, and that'll be out sometime here in October. And I'm um, gonna put some down. I, I think he's got a something in mind that'll go on the rocker pan, or you know, the rocker panels of those cliffhangers. So that'll be cool. Uh, you know, help support and, and push that product because it's it's good, and you know, why not help a uh, a good guy that's making good product, right? I mean, what more do you want? It? What more do you need? Uh, so, yeah, you know, just beat him up a little bit. Uh, it was a good stormy day yesterday. Did some indoor. Uh, thanks for watching those shorts. And this one's just a little bit longer play, you know. Uh, I don't know. I, I know we all have our opinions about shorts and long plays. And, uh, you know, if you are watching the long play and you've made it this far, I hope you do like, subscribe, share this video, make a video of your own, build one of these trucks, at least get one of the other, you know, the, 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 the JLU or the C10 or, uh, 
the Bronco, whatever you want to get, get one and, and, and do a little bit to it. You know, you put a new, you can put those Emacs, all these rigs have an Emacs. Uh, I do have a nice servo, an NSR, NSDRC servo. Uh, coming sometime later in the month for the uh, I think it's gonna go in the JLU actually not in this uh, might get another one for this at a later date uh, I know you know I, I have a problem with breaking the ears off of my servos I I'll I don't know if it's from rolling over or I just have the screw just a C hair too tight I, I don't know what's going on but that's my major problem with servos for me. And they do burn out after a while. I've, you know, a couple, and I've had a couple come bad out of the box, but luckily I ordered them from Amazon and it was direct through Enjoy. You know, there's no questions asked. They just take it back and send you new ones before you even drop them off at the store. So that works out, but yeah, you know, put a servo on it, do something to it, cut the body. Cut the fenders. All my rigs have the fenders cut. Every single rig that we have in this eight rig fleet has some kind of body work done to it. A um, couple of the gladiators have the full, uh, have the tent removed off the top. One of them was running just an open bed for a while. Uh, put my nephew's rack back on and this is my sister and brother-in-law's rig. Um, and all these rigs are just at my house right now. They just have like house guests over there and it's just the kids are back in school and going to soccer and one of them has swim lessons and it's, it's too much. And Uncle Zach will do upgrades that nobody knows about. I have some Grizzly Works chassis LCG kits for all their rigs and I have sliders for the two gladiators and I even got an LCG, uh, the, uh, the, the Grizzly Works LCG kit. Uh, version 1's for all them little kids, and I got me a version 2. It's a nice uh, uh, imprinting. It, it, it's a different kind of print, and um, it'll go in my C10. So yeah, just uh, wanted to go for a little cruise. I, like I said, I kind of, yeah, I've been staying up late. I go back to work here in the winter, and I work all night i work from 11 p.m or that's when i wake up i go to work at 11 30 and i work until around 10 in the morning or later some days and uh yeah it's a good time so i just kind of live a night life schedule but i don't drink and party and go out and even really don't love the company of others and um yeah so good times i just wanted to get out in the rocks and play after they got washed off by the hurricane the the end tail end of the hurricane in here in north carolina um and so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i'm just cruising man just cruising just out cruising and here's where i just start driving this truck like I stole it like I'm in a high speed chase with the cops just man, rah, 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 just crushing it I think I, ha I don't this that rig has a stock motor in it and that's probably the problem that I'm having with it uh, it's just too like jumpy for me I have to give it too much goose to give it some juice and I don't like it and um so it's got a Maker Fire 050 66 turn motor coming from Amazon. I ordered two more of them. One of my nephew's rig has one already, and I'm pretty sure that it is basically it's a it's a purple Enjora motor with a different label on it. And it's nine dollars and eighty cents. Maker Fire. Check it. 050 66 turn. Get, get it while it's hot. Um, and yeah, a little bit of magic winch action right there. What, what? Did you see it? Even unhooked it. <laughs> so, good times. That was fun. 
Uh, you never know if it's gonna work or not. Give it a smack. Don't talk back. And uh, yeah, like I said, just driving that that gladiator like I stole it or something, and uh, I don't know what I was doing. Just you know, gonna need to go to the paint and sticker shop one day. If they had door handles, we'd see how shaved off we could get them. And uh, yeah, so just picking some different lines and driving around. I really like the rock pile because there's no set trails. There are some areas that you can see that are trail-ish. I consider the brick road a safety zone. We get back to the brick road and, and, and the show's over. Um, but everywhere else, like there's lines in here that I've never sometimes I don't take all these lines. Where we started was the news section. And, um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's always a little bit different, um, and definitely next year I'm going to put some focus in bringing in some dirt to put under these and make more like trail, you know, more little, I don't know, I don't know, it's going to get different, so, but it's fun now and that's really all that matters is like, are you having a good time? <sighs> yeah having a good time so i think the dog was about to go off and chase something here but no i think the dog went in because he did chase something when i was setting up when i brought the rigs out and was getting the tripod set for the first shot uh he went after something down behind we have like a between that that building you can see over the bricks is just someone the back of someone's garage and, and, and I have my property lines back there are ways where the pine trees come in and then there's like a 30 foot easement underneath a power line and it's you know just it's not the woods because they they keep it clean and I keep it cleaner between the three houses behind me and and my property and um yeah, so Blue gets back there sometimes and he sees something down that green belt and he is like a rocket. Goodbye. So, love the dog. He likes to run sometimes. But he's good. He comes back. You just run down and get him. He'll, he will he doesn't just like keep going. If it's a deer, he'll chase it for a ways. And then he's like, yeah, that's a deer. I'm not going to hunt deer today. But like I said, hey, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. The rigs are running good. I didn't bring out the full fleet today. It was getting dark, and uh, pardon if this video is a little grainy. It was, it was just about getting dusk. Lots of cloud cover. So, anyway, this one is just about over, folks. And had a good time. But like I said, back to the red brick road of safety that's just kind of a, a good safety zone my, ne uh, my nephew Ethan built that road and cardboard crawlers out